Package management is just a fancy term to say that beside the code we write ourselves, we want to use code from some other people. And we want to make sure that we have a, a recent version of that code and that it works together with code from other people. So if other people write code, they normally package it into something called a package. And this is a dependency, which means that we need that external package for our website to work. So Neos uses a tool called Composer for the package management or the dependency management. And this is the de facto standard for PHP. When I want to build my own website, the first thing is that I don't want to write the whole code. I want to include the Neos code, right? This is why we have this course here. We want to use Neos to build our own website. So this is our first dependency. So our own website requires Neos to be loaded so that we can build the website. And then Neos has, again, dependencies on some other people's packages which is then defined in the Neos package. So Neos, for example, requires Neos Flow, which is the framework used below the CMS system. And it requires loads of other packages, which are built not only by the Neos community, but by other communities as well, and which are shared across multiple frameworks. So let's say I have now started to work on my own website, and you find a package which is developed by someone else, let's call him Cho, and which is a really good slider. And on our website, we want to have a slider. So instead of just copying the code in your own package and then needing to make sure that if there's a bug, you fix that and keeping track of, of improvements of that package, you can just include that package and Composer will make sure that it loads a good version of that. So now we have a dependency called Cho slider. So chose the name. The first one is always the company name or the developer name. And the second one describes the package. And, and also, let's, let's imagine that this Cho slider, of course, is based on Neos. So Cho slider will also have a dependency on Neos.Neos. And Composer will now make sure that if you define in your website project that you're using Neos, let's say, 4, but Cho Slider only works with Neos 3, that it will tell you, oh, there's a problem with dependencies, and you can fix it by making sure that, that the packages work together. So this is really cool, and you'll see it in practice soon. So let's say your website grows and you have more and more code. To, to make it easier to understand your own code, you can create packages yourself to, to package different features into a separate code. So it's easy for you to find the right code. So what you can do, for example, is you're building a block for your website. You don't want to use a default block system. So you're developing your own. And you can put that in a separate package. So of course, if you have all your code on a versioning system, you want you want in your version system, you don't want to have the Neos code because that's done by someone else. You also don't want to have the Chodo slider, but you want to have the code for your blog and all the other website code in one single repository because that's just easier to manage. So Compose allows this. You can differentiate between local packages and external packages. The external packages are loaded from packages and your local packages are in the same Git repository. A composer will manage all your dependencies and you just have to define them. Let me show you how this looks in real code. This one is a best practice setup and you're going to use the same code in the next step when we set up the project. So here, as a requirement for my website, I only have one package which is called CodeQ site and which you'll rename to your own uh, site package. And this one, will be loaded locally. So we have one folder which we call distribution packages and all our local packages are here. Right now we only have one here, which is this code queue site. And now the interesting thing is this one here can include, uh, require again other projects. So our code queue site 
package now requires in Composer all these packages. So as you have seen in, in the slides, we are requiring news that news, but we are requiring also many other packages which are already built and provide cool features. For example, news SEO to allow SEO configurations for documents. So if you would go ahead now and install that by saying uh, composer update, it will install this local ones and then will require all these external packages and it will put it in a folder called packages. So here in the packages folder, you can see it loads a lot of different packages and all these packages again can have dependencies like these here, which are also loaded. So this is why we have all these dependencies and you don't really have to know all of the dependencies here. This is something Composer maintains for you and you don't really have to do much here. So this is the basic idea of dependency management. In the beginning, throughout our next steps, we'll set up this project locally and we'll only work with one package from yourself. So it's very easy to keep track of all the dependencies.